Less than 48 hours, it's back to business on Capitol Hill, with Republicans taking control of both the House and Senate for the first time since President Obama took office. GOP lawmakers say they plan on getting a fast start in pushing their agenda, but first things first, deciding who will lead them. The Fox News political insiders are here with us. Pat Cadell, former pollster for President Jimmy Carter and Fox News contributor. Doug Schoen, former pollster for President Bill Clinton and a Fox News contributor as well. And John LeBoutlier, former Republican congressman for New York. And you can join the conversation on Twitter as well, at Julie Banderas and at FN Insiders. Hashtag Fox Report. Hashtag. Hashtag. <laughs> All right, so let's just move on into this, because Boehner is being challenged uh, for House Speaker. Um, in fact, this morning on Fox and Friends uh, today, Texas Representative Louis Gohmert announced that he will challenge House Speaker John Boehner for his post when Congress returns to, week, uh, to Washington this week. What does that mean for Boehner? Is he out? No, no, he will he will survive this challenge, but he's got extraordinarily weak support nationally among Republican voters. We're going to put a poll up here in a minute that shows that I think it's 60 percent of Republicans around the country don't want Boehner as their speaker. Let's put the people's poll up. Would you elect John Boehner to continue as Speaker of the House or would you elect someone new? Uh, someone new, definitely 34 percent. Someone new, probably 26 percent. And like you said, a total of 60 percent. Uh, Doug, how does this look for Republicans and specifically what to do with the House Speaker role? Well, a couple of things. And Pat, I, I should say, did the poll and he can speak to it quite eloquently. But the general significance of this is it would be a profound mistake to read into the November election any embracing of the Republican uh, philosophy or leadership. In fact, there's widespread anger with the entire political class in Washington, Julie. And what I pick up from this poll and others is people want uh, cooperation. They want a clear agenda to move America forward and business as usual as it's been practiced, whether by the Republican leadership or President Obama, they've just had it with. Okay, Pat, you know, uh, McConnell and Boehner are both not polling well amongst Republicans. What, what does that tell you? Well, it tells me how fra just how fragile the Republican coalition is. There's a narrative in Washington by the mainstream media uh, and people who play in politics and the political class there that they're working on a strategy, they're doing this, they're doing that. Well, well let me tell you what's happening. Uh, in this polling that I was involved with, mm -hmm. uh, in the questionnaire, not only do 60 percent of the people want someone new, and only 25 percent of Republicans wanted Boehner to be elected speaker again, but more I interestingly, two thirds of the people thought of the Republicans thought he was ineffective uh, in opposing Obama, and a quarter, uh, excuse me, and. Uh, uh, and uh, split right down the middle on whether or not he favors people, ordinary people, or special interests. That's pretty bad when your own party says those things. And by the way, we now when we've released the results on McConnell, look, 16 percent of Republicans want both uh, Boehner and McConnell elected. 40 percent to 50 percent want neither of them elected, want new people. That is an indictment of a party. Republicans feel that they did wrong in the lame duck, that they, they should have uh, not given the budget all the way, that they should have uh, been more involved. It's a, it's pretty, it's a pretty is, serious situation. John is chomping situation. at the bit here. <laughs> John, I can just feel it. Go well, ahead, Julie, John. Julie, I agree with everything Pat and Doug said. And Doug said something that you used in the introduction about a clear agenda. Mm -hmm. And this is the bigger problem than just those two men, ba Boehner and McConnell. What is the Republican agenda? Other than Keystone, which all Republicans are in favor of, uh, in the two months since the election, I... There is no Republican announcement, we're going to do this on immigration, we're going to do this on health care, we're going to do this to revive the economy. There has been silence. There is no Republican agenda. Individual Republicans may have one, but the party leadership has nothing. And what has happened? Obama has stepped into the vacuum after getting shellacked in November. He has gone left, but he's dominated the news, and his ratings are up because the Republicans are non-existent. All right, so then why are, that's a great point, why are Republicans so silent on things they feel so strongly about, like Obamacare and immigration? They can't get together on what to do. Doug, I mean, does it, does it make the Republican Party look weak going into this new set of okay. control they have, and will they get anything done with I, this notion? Well, well, it's going to be very hard for either party to get anything done, Julie. 
with uh, the Republicans not having a veto-proof majority, which argues for cooperation. But the specific answer to the question you and John were debating is this. The Republicans have basically, for the last few years, only had one message, one word, no. No to President Obama, no to his agenda, and it worked very well in the election. The problem is you can't govern that way. You can't win support. And as Pat's poll suggests quite clearly, the Republican electorate, and I dare say the American people more generally, are fed up with a political class that yeah. offers nothing, no leadership, no direction. That's a, that's a good point. Eileen Payne writes to me, uh, Doug is right. The political class has sucked us all dry. Boehner should go, though. And let me go to this Gallup poll as far as most important problem facing the U.S. in 2014, talking about sucking us all dry, because if you take a look at these numbers, it tells you a lot. Uh, essentially, uh, politicians. Well, the, the poll has more. It says government slash Congress slash politicians. Yes. The number one problem to the American people, which to me and Pat and Doug. Are politicians in government. Yeah. In other words, but, but the three of us have been harping on this all along. And this will tell you how smart the average voter is, that they have correctly diagnosed what is ruining this country are these jerks in Washington who have subverted the system for themselves. They're not out yeah, for the American me, people. Let me, can I get it? Go let ahead. me jump in here. The, look, the, that 18% is the first time at the end of the year we've seen that in the first place. That's an open-ended question. People were asked, and that came from the voters. They weren't given a list. You look at what Americans feel about their government. They feel, one, they're angry that it doesn't work. And secondly, they are alienated from it. They feel that the government does not work for them, but works for special interests, whether it's from the left or the right, and that they are basically getting screwed. And those numbers are in the 80 and 90 percentile. Look at the poll just of Republicans. 90 percent of them believe that. They are, this is a very populist uprising that the political class cannot afford to recognize, and yet it, it looms large uh, because I'll tell you, looking at Republicans, uh, you know, if they fail to have a message that unites their party and is effective, you know, I'm looking at, I think, a quarter or a third of their base could absolutely just desert them. And can, I, may I just say that in behalf of Pat and Doug, We have to Doug, get, take a quick quickly, break. Well, they call us the political insiders. We were all inside this thing. Mm -hmm. But we're outside now, and we're trying to tell the viewer what is really going on inside. And this tells me that people know. They know this is rotten inside. Yeah, that's very telling. We just hope Washington is listening. All right.